Colombians elect a young conservative named Ivan Duque as the country's new president. Many praise his pro-business policies, but others worry his tough talk could upend a historic peace deal Pope Francis helped broker. Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reports from the State Department. Good evening, Wyatt. Good evening, Lawrence. Colombia's new president will have a lot on his plate when he takes office in August. State Department officials say they want to work with him in securing his country, which is still controlled by drug cartels and violent rebel groups. The new president-elect vows to bring them to justice. The new president-elect, Ivan Duque, telling Colombians he's going to use all his energy to unite the country. The 41-year-old father of three held a commanding lead in Sunday's vote, 54 percent to just 42 percent of his leftist opponent, Gustavo Petro. Ojalá sea capaz. Petro urging Duque to uphold a 2016 peace agreement between the Colombian government and a leftist rebel group called FARC. He says it's vital to avoiding another deadly conflict. <laughs> the new president inherits a country still scarred by five decades of fighting. Former FARC guerrillas are trying to reinsert themselves into civilian life, which they could under the peace agreement. Anna Quintana, a Latin America policy expert, says Duque won support by promising not to let them off the hook. FARC is going to get away with a lot. They're literally going to get away with murder, get away with child traffic, with recruitment of child soldiers and these other things. And these are factors that contribute towards the violence. But Quintana says the new president-elect doesn't want to rip up the peace accord. The Catholic Church helped broker the agreement, and Colombians remember Pope Francis stressing the word reconciliation during his visit in September of 2017. I think one area in which the Catholic Church has been very helpful in is in the reintegration and rather the demobilization of, of FARC combatants. And I think that's, that's they can continue playing an important role in bringing these former rebels kind of out of the jungle and into Colombian society. State Department officials are applauding Colombia for holding free and fair elections. Spokesperson Heather Nauert says it's vital the United States helps in protecting human rights, the same protections Pope Francis called for. Lauren? Wyatt, we've been watching in horror as hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans have fled their homeland for Colombia. Did that impact this election? Yes, Lauren, the, the issue, the flood of refugees that have come into the country has been a major issue. Ana Quintana told me that the more people come across the border every day, and so that number actually at this point could be close to a million. It's honestly hard for the Colombian government to count the amount of people. The Catholic Church has also played a key role in this as churches are trying to take in as many families and help them as they can, but neither the local churches nor the government really can keep up with the amount of people fleeing into their country. Lauren? Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reporting from the State Department. Thank you, Wyatt.